the best in Monte Carlo that we can do to solve this problem is the on policy Monte Carlo method using the epsilon soft policy but uh, but later we will see that Monte Carlo methods are not the best methods for path planning algorithms because in path planning algorithms it is not possible to uh, it, it is it's possible to define a particular task in the form of episode like you can repeat the like you can repeat the task of getting the target location as an episode but in general uh, if you are learning a policy using a Monte Carlo method then it is not guaranteed that you will find a solution that the agent will reach to a target location it is never guaranteed when you are using Monte Carlo methods you will have to incorporate some sort of information in your objective function to help in reaching the target location but uh, just relying on the Monte Carlo methods will not uh, will not at all help in solving the path planning algorithm but the temporal differencing methods can solve this because they use the temporal differences and therefore they will learn that the policy is not good and it is not taking the agent to the target location so they can switch over to different policy so this is a basic difference and uh, we will see the limitation of the Monte Carlo methods in, in, in as especially in path plan algorithms but not in this channel in the path planning channel and presentation second will provide a very brief introduction to the convex reinforcement path that is the algorithm just shown in this uh, in this uh, lecture that is that path plan algorithm and uh, we will take this path plan algorithm in much detail in path planning channel we will uh, devote the whole 10 or 15 presentations on this problem so very important thing that I wanted to explain using this mod, uh, using this algorithm is that in this example the model of the environment is not known uh, like here it is not known that what, uh, what the next state will be or what the probability of transition to a next state so the uh, transition probabilities are not known in this example and in some situations uh, the next possible state is not known at all so in such examples especially in path plan algorithms the model of the environment is not known and therefore uh, using Monte Carlo methods and temporal differencing methods becomes a necessity uh, we cannot use any algorithm that uses a model of the environment we'll have to estimate the policy okay so in this example the uh, the transition probabilities are not known the probability of uh, making transition to next state that is in a suppose in this state you are taking this angle that is the angle is an is an action you're taking this angle with reference to this baseline and now your next state will be the location of the obstacles uh, distance from the target location the orientation the orientation of this ellipsoid after reaching to the next state these all things are not known okay so in in the situations where the model of the environment is not known we use estimation algorithms such as Monte Carlo and temporal differencing so now we'll focus on the types of Monte Carlo methods there are basically two types of Monte Carlo methods the one is every visit Monte Carlo methods and second one is the first visit Monte Carlo methods so every visit Monte Carlo methods averages the returns following all the visits to us in a set of episodes and uh, first visit uh, and first visit Monte Carlo method just averages the return following the first visit to a state S in every episode they do this for all the episodes okay that is uh, by every episode means uh, they in each ep in each episode they consider just the first visit to the state S so suppose there are a set of n plus one episodes e naught to e n and now let us consider any particular episode say E1 and uh, we choose any particular state say S3 in this episode okay and now in every visit Monte Carlo methods we will consider each and every visit to state S3 okay in this episode E1 and now suppose there are a fine number of visits to this state S3 okay so the visits 
so the wizard's twisted s3 in episode number e1 is 5 okay there are five wizards to state as to it means that in this episode uh, state s3 occurred five times and now the return following each visit say first visit second visit third visit fourth visit and fifth visit be r1 r2 r3 r4 and r5 so in every visit Monte Carlo methods we consider all these returns that is returns following each visit and then we append it to a list of the returns following a visit to state s3 and finally we will take the average of all these returns and this is the expected return of and this is the value of a state s3 and likewise we will uh, we do this for every state in every episode now in first visit Monte Carlo method say again instead of n plus 1 episodes e0 to en and again we consider say any particular episode e1 and any particular state s3 so in and uh, now again suppose there are 5 visits to state s3 in episode number e1 and the uh, returns following the respective visits are r1 to r5 then in first visit Monte Carlo methods we just take this r1 that is return following the first time the state s3 was visited in episode s uh, in episode e1 and we do this for each and every episode that is in each episode we consider the return following the first visit to a state to a particular state and then we do this for all the episodes we append the returns the first return of a state in a particular uh, episode to a list and uh, we do this for all episode and finally we take the average of all these returns and this is the expected value or the value of a state s3 or a particular state s that we are considering in our algorithm so in this way the first visit and every visit Monte Carlo method differs the every visit Monte Carlo method consider each and every return following the visits to a state particular state and first visit Monte Carlo method just consider the first visit that is written following the first visit to a particular state in any episode so the first algorithm that we will consider in Monte Carlo is estimating the state value function using the first visit Monte Carlo methods in this whole lecture we will focus only on the first visit Monte Carlo and uh, for every visit Monte Carlo method we will tackle it in the upcoming lectures so here is a complete algorithm as this algorithm is not that important so we will not devote much of our time in, uh, in this algorithm so the first step is to store your policy for which you want to evaluate the state value function okay and then initializing the values that is state values for each of the state and in general case we assign the value 0 initially for each and every state and then we form a list of empty returns for each of the state suppose there are n number of states then we will form n number of list and that list we will use in this loop okay uh, once the return is for, for a state is calculated we append it to this return uh, to this list of returns okay so once this initialization has been done uh, we go to our next step that is repeating this loop infinite times ideally and for practical cases we do this say 10,000 or a million times that will give you a very good approximation so the first step in the estimation algorithms is to generate an episode using whatever is stored policy so here we have this stored policy Pi, and we generate an episode using this policy so the first question is what is an episode so in general path algorithms an episode can be uh, a robot moving from a starting location to a target location uh, with various obstacles in this region so once the robot reaches a target location safely we say that an episode ends okay and likewise we can uh, generate this thing or we can make our robot do this 10,000 times so in this way we can have 10,000 different episodes okay so the first task is to generate an episode now one